Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 2 of Mr. Bolster's, Bolster's book on EDC. And here primarily we'll be solving end chapter problem 33 and 34. And this is on the request of a student. So state on the question, determine V out for the circuits given. This is the input and uh, these are the two circuits that we have to solve. Let's take the first one. So the first one, now point to note is that the input is constant, 12 volt positive or 12 volt negative. So we can easily replace the input with the help of a battery. In the first case, we are replacing with the battery of 12 volt, positive terminal touching the top, so it is positive 12 volt. And now uh, we can see from here that the positive terminal of the battery is touching the positive of the diode. That means diode will become forward bias. And when it becomes forward bias, we can replace it by 0 0.7 volt battery. So this will become our equivalent circuit. And we just take a current here and mark the polarities. Now we can write KVA equation starting from one corner like this. It is minus 12, 0 0.7 plus 2.2 Ki plus 1.8 Ki. So this loop. From here we can find I. I is 11.3 divided by 4. And now this output voltage is simply 1.8 K multiplied by this current. So V out is 1.8 K multiplied by current. So the answer is 5.09 volt. So this is for the first half. We can draw it like this. You can see 5.9 volt. We have drawn positive for the first half. Now let's see the second half. The negative. So we now use a negative 12 volt battery. That means the negative terminal will be up and positive with the ground. And now you can see that the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the diode. That means the diode will be reverse bias. So we draw it like this. And since it is now open circuit, no current can flow through this. And therefore output will be zero. So I is zero. And so V out is 1.8 into I, 1.8 into zero is equal to zero volt. And we can draw it a straight line, zero volt. Now the combined of the two will be just like this, 5.09 and zero volt. And if we have to write answer, we can say it is a positive pulse of 5.09 volt. Okay, part B, same input, circuit is different. Here also we'll follow the same technique. We'll connect the battery. For the positive half, we connect a positive terminal of the battery at the top, 12 volt. And now we it is better, since there are two batteries, it is better that we, dire, we draw current direction to make sure or to know the direction or the whether the batteries are adding or subtracting. Now you can see the current leaving from positive terminal, current leaving from positive terminal, but they are in the same direction, therefore they are adding. So we can see uh, or use effect of the uh, any battery, it is better to use the larger one. Now larger battery positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the diode. So this diode is now forward bias. So we replace the diode by 0 0.7 volt battery. And now we can write KVA equation from here, this, this, this. Cal cal calculate I. And then V naught is 10K into I, 10K into I, 15.3 volt. Now another way we could have uh, done is we could have just added these batteries together. So this is 
this battery and this battery is adding same direction. So 12 plus 4 is 16. This is opposing. So 16 minus 0 0.7 is 15.3. So 15.3 and this resistance. And now we can write KVL. So minus 15.3 plus V naught is equal to 0. Therefore, V naught is 15.3. So same result. Whichever way you are comfortable, you can use that to find the voltage output. And so the output voltage will draw like this for the first half, 15.3 volt. Now let's go to the second half, minus 12 volts. So we're using battery, with negative is at the top. Current direction opposing, if you see it is coming up from here, going down from here. So we'll take effect of the larger battery. The larger battery, negative is touching the positive of the battery. That means the diode is reverse bias. And so it will be open circuit. And since it is open circuit, no current is flowing here. So the current will be zero. And so the output will also be zero. Now the combined effect of the two, first it was 15.3 and now it is zero. So we can write answer the positive pulse of 15.3 volt. Okay, now question number 34. Similar, we'll follow same technique. The only point you have to note at that in case, in this case, the diode is ideal diode. Okay, so first circuit, replace the input by battery, 12 at uh, 20 volt battery now. And the technique remains same. We draw two currents, so the batteries are adding. So we can actually add the batteries, the so 24 volt battery. And now you can see positive of the battery is connected to the negative of the diode. That means diode is reverse bias, open circuit, no current is flowing, so output is zero. So V out is zero for the first half. Second half is negative five, so we draw a battery with negative uh, five here, a five volt battery, negative touching the top. Draw the currents from the positive terminals, opposing current. So we'll take uh, the larger battery uh, as the predominant. So this is larger. Negative of this battery is touching the negative of the diode. That means the diode is forward biased. And since it is ideal diode, we replace it by a straight line. So we're replacing it with the straight line. Now this is the remaining circuit. And we can solve to find V naught. So by KVL, we start from here. Positive 5 minus 4 and positive V naught equal to 0. Therefore, V naught is 0 uh, minus 1 volt. So this is the output. So the total output. Uh, for positive, we have zero. For negative, we have minus one. Again, positive here, so we'll have zero. So this is how we draw the output. And we can write answer to be negative pulse of one volt. Now the second half, or the part B of the question, same technique, using a battery of 20, marking the current direction. Now, Yes, important point here is a 5 volt plus. So we'll also replace this 5 volt plus with a battery of 5 volt. And now the two currents are opposing. Therefore, we'll take the larger battery to be supreme. So 20 volt and 20 volt will make this diode positive or this diode, uh, sorry, forward bias because positive is touching the positive of the diode. So the diode is forward bias. We draw a straight line because the diode is ideal diode. And now from here, we can write KVL. We simply take the outer loop, minus 20, plus V naught equal to 0. And therefore, V naught is 20 volt. 
we could have used this but for this first of all we have to calculate the total current and then drop across this and then we'll have same answer actually okay so this is the output so 20 volt input and output is also 20 volt here now in the second half negative 5 so negative 5 battery the current are adding same direction so you can take any battery this battery is making or the negative of the battery is touching the positive of the diode therefore it is open circuit reverse bias so no current flowing through this uh, uh, circuit and let's now uh, write the kvl equation to find zero now this is open but this is connected to v naught so we'll use this loop and kvl we start from here minus 5 plus 2.2 i and plus v naught equal to 0 now i is 0 in this circuit so we'll this term will become 0 that means v naught is equal to positive 5 volts so we draw it like this okay so we had uh, 120 volt another 5 volt positive so the net output will look like this and now since the input is not only limited to positive and negative it is continuing so another positive and therefore we should also draw the output with another positive of 20 volt so this will be the final answer so i have and we can write it that the positive alternating pulse of 20 volt and 5 volt so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you